question is for the Minister of Community and Social Services. Right now, there are at least 14,000 adults with developmental disabilities on the wait list for housing. The, the need is extremely urgent. To get help, one mother had to declare her son homeless. Another young man with autism had to be locked in a psychiatric ward. When Global News approached the minister for her thoughts, she stated, are you sure you want to talk to me? How insulting. It is the minister's job to provide answers and hope to those affected by this crisis. Why won't the minister provide an answer? Is it because the real answer would expose her and her government's total and inexcusable lack of action? Good thank you, Minister of Community and Social Services. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm very happy to respond to the question from the uh, member opposite. First of all, our government recognizes the efforts and commitments of families who are supporting their adult children with developmental disabilities. We understand those challenges, and we want to work with them. This is why, of course, we did establish developmental service organizations across the province to ensure equity uh, across the province in terms of prioritization, uh, in terms of moving to residential support services. And of course, we also want to enable people with developmental disabilities uh, to live and participate as fully as possible in their communities. This is why we made the investment of $810 million to help those with developmental disabilities. And in fact, we are making good progress in providing Answer. new residential supports. This year alone, we have supplied 500 additional Thank you. residential spaces. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, that kind of answer is meaningless for families suffering because of this government's misplaced priorities. They, they, they're cutting secret million-dollar checks to teachers' unions, but to the most vulnerable, vulnerable amongst us, they are being total tightwads. Shameful. How long will it take to cut down the housing wait list? Global asked, but the minister wouldn't say. The Auditor General told us at the current rate it will take 22 years. That's assuming nobody else joins the list. Oh. Families need housing solutions now, not decades down the road. Speaker, will the minister apologize to families, take responsibility, and start helping those most in need? And will she do it now? Good back. Thank you, Minister. Well, first of all, Mr. Speaker, I do want to emphasize that families that are on the residential wait list are already receiving some forms of support through our direct funding programs. In other words, uh, they are receiving supports within the community to assist them uh, while they uh, await residential placement. We have established our housing task force, and I've had the opportunity to travel around the province uh, to an make announcements of these demonstration projects. Those with developmental disabilities vary considerably while, uh, as individuals, uh, as we would expect. Some people need very, um, very strong support in their communities. They may have complex medical needs. So we're looking at innovative ways to house individuals in their Answer. communities, working in partnership with the community agencies that they need. We have some 12 demonstration Thank projects, you. and we will have another 12 very shortly. Here, here.